Hi and welcome to Majestic.Cloud. My name is Laszlo and I'm going to show you today a brand new feature of AWS Lambda. Although we are one week away from reInvent, the AWS team is already announcing new stuff. Just yesterday they've announced Lambda Destinations. This is a feature that provides visibility into Lambda function invocations and routes the execution results to other AWS services. Basically, you can route the results of your Lambda function execution into another AWS service like SQS, SNS, EventBridge, or you can chain another Lambda function that will receive your execution result and can continue the processing. This way you can reduce code complexity in your serverless event-driven applications. Also, you can differentiate between a success or a failure and invoke different services as a destination one for success and another one for failure. But I think uh, it's better to show you. Let's dive in. First of all, we will need to create a Lambda function. So I will name my Lambda function destinations. I will leave the default Node.js to have runtime. And here I will also leave the uh, default create a new role with basic Lambda permissions although I will need later to modify this role to allow access uh, uh, for SQS, uh, SNS and Lam Lambda itself. Um, so let's create the function and once this uh, function is created I will paste a very simple uh, code in the Lambda function and I will explain uh, what that uh, code does. So the function is created let's look at it um, I, I've pasted the code so um, this code checks uh, if in the event we have an account balance uh, parameter which is uh, greater than 99 and in this case I will have a success event in this case I want to add the message to SQS but as you can see I have no code here for SQS this is uh, uh, the new feature. I don't have to write the code. I will just uh, create a destination and uh, based on the success or the failure, um, the execution result will be di directioned to either the success uh, destination or the failure destination. So here is the failure, um, the checking if uh, the account balance is something else it's not greater than 100 then uh, it's a failure balance is lower than 100 and in this case I will want to send a notification via SNS so this is uh, what the code looks like let's save this and uh, here you can see we have this um, this uh, new button and here we can add a new destination and um, we can choose here a synchronous invocation or stream invocation we will dem demo the synchronous invocation and i have two conditions on failure or on success as i said on failure i want to send uh, an email with sns and on success i want to um, put a message in an sqs queue so um, I will need to paste here the destination RN for uh, my destinations but um, I can't do that until I modify the, um, the role and that role should permit uh, access to, um, to uh, those services. Let's see what is the role that um, uh, Lambda created for us. So, this is the existing role, destinations role. I will go and modify it. So let's go here and do a refresh and I should have here um, a destination role. This one with the F, this one, okay. So I will want to attach policies here and um, here I want to allow SQS so I will give it full access for the time being also SNS also full access and Lambda because later I will demo also uh, chaining of a Lambda function so Lambda full access attach these policies 
I have these policies now uh, attached and uh, it should be fine now uh, let's go to uh, SNS and here I will uh, create a new topic this topic will be uh, send notification okay let's create it I will also create a subscription which will be an email and I will put here hello at majestic.cloud I will need to confirm my subscription so let's create the subscription and I should receive an email I received it so I will just confirm this subscription okay let's delete the message and go back um, here in the SNS console and I will need to grab this RN let's copy it and go back to a lambda and here I will add the destination so on failure I want uh, the result of my lambda function to be sent to this uh, SNS uh, SNS topic so let's save this so I have a destination at that this is Amazon SNS now let's go to simple queue service and I will create a queue for the process events okay this will be a standard queue let's quick create it I don't need anything special I will also grab the RN of this queue here go back to uh, lambda and add another destination and this will be on, on success so on success I will have this uh, this destination so let's save it okay so I have my two destinations configured now we can go and uh, invoke uh, the lambda function so I will uh, open the terminal and uh, write a um, uh, command for invoking the lambda function asynchronously so this will be AWS lambda invoke I will need to give it the function name which will be destinations then the region right now I'm in a EU central one and this is important uh, the invocation invocation type this should be event so we will have an asynchronous invocation and then the payload uh, here the payload will be account balance it will be one, 105 okay and uh, we need to specify this re response JSON here and then invoke it and I receive the status code 202 uh, this should be a success I will um, go to uh, CloudWatch and check on my um, lambda function this takes a bit of time but in the meantime uh, let's go also to SQS and I should have right now a message here and I have it here and one message available and this should be uh, the result of my invocation so let's uh, view that message um, and here is the message I look at it and this is the, the message body here I have the result of my invocation and here we also have the request payload which is account balance 105 so um, the success destination was uh, invoked and here in the um, cloud uh, watch console I can also see the result of my function account balance 105 so add message to SQS this was the, the result 
now let's go back and invoke the function uh, the function again but this time I will only have 15 as account balance and now my uh, uh, failure uh, destination should be invoked and I should get a message um, uh, an email message uh, so let's check again on CloudWatch um, because it takes a while until I get the email so here I have the invocation with account balance 15 this is a failure event and uh, an SNS notification is uh, uh, sent we will look again at the lambda code um, you see um, here the success uh, part and here is the failure part so let's go to the email and check it uh, usually it takes a bit of time until um, it arrives in my gmail box uh, I'm not sure if uh, AWS uh, is to blame or gmail but let's wait a bit uh, until the email arrives so the email has arrived and you can see that I have in here also the um, uh, result of um, the invocation the request payload and stuff like that okay so one last thing I want to uh, show you I want to create another lambda function let's uh, call this one um, second destination let's use the same role that we have created before so this one uh, let's create the function and um, here what I want to do I will want to console log the event okay and that should be it let's save it and then um, I want to grab the RN of this function and let's go to the first function I've created and I want to chain the second function for the failure event so instead of SNS uh, if the, my first function fails uh, the destination will be the second function so let's edit this failure destination and switch the role I don't know the role but the RN uh, here to second destination okay and then I will go to the terminal and uh, run this uh, but not with 15 but with uh, 50 okay let's run this and now uh, my uh, second lambda function should be uh, invoked because the f the this uh, destinations lambda function should fail and let's go to um, cloudwatch and see if we have any logs um, let's wait a bit because it might take a while okay so my um, uh, logs uh, arrived here in cloudwatch so let's look at uh, the second destination functions uh, result so we he have here you see uh, this uh, console log which uh, outputs the um, uh, execution result for um, the first lambda function which invoked the second one and you can see here the count balance 50 this has uh, um, arrived here from the first lambda function which invoked the second one so uh, this is it this is how you can uh, use uh, destinations to um, uh, specify uh, what you want to execute next af after your lambda function has uh, uh, finished processing i hope you liked this video if you did uh, please uh, give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel and see you next week when we will talk about AWS reInvent.